Hey guys, this is Miss Smith. I'm going to be doing your practice A and B for word study this week. So remember with our practice A, this is where we are looking at the sentences we've been given and we need to fill the blank in with the correct vocabulary word. So number one says my family lives in one half of a blank and my grandmother lives on the other side. Well, we know based on our definitions that the one word that we have that talks about two homes being together is going to be the word duplex. Number two, he had blank careers in writing and teaching. Okay, so we're looking for the word that tells us that he's going to have both a career in writing and a career in teaching. So that's going to be the word dual. Number three, the blank car could drive on land and water. All right, well, the only word I remember talking about being able to be on land and on water would be the word amphibious. Number four, the blank sale at the department store only takes place every six months. So that means it's happening twice a year. So that's going to be our word biannual. Number five, the more meanings a word has, the more blank it is. So we're looking for a word that tells us about all the different possible meanings a word could have. So we're looking for the word ambiguous. Number six, it's much easier to balance on a three-wheeler than it is to ride a blank. So we're going from three wheels to something that's not as easy to balance on. So that's going to lead us to the word bicycle because we will only have two wheels. Number seven, Fran is blank since she speaks French and English. Well, I know that the word that's talking about speaking two languages, so we have French and English here, is going to be the word bilingual. Number eight, I couldn't perform my blank because my partner was sick. All right, well, we're looking for a word that talks about two people performing. So I know that that's going to be the word duet. All right, number nine, Rose was very blank about moving. She was excited to start a new school, but she was very sad to leave her friends. Okay, so we need to figure out which word talks about having two different emotions or two different feelings. So I know that that's going to be the word ambivalent. And number 10, luckily I am blank, so I was able to write with my left hand after I broke my right arm. Well, I know that if I'm able to write with both hands, that's going to mean that I am ambidextrous. All right, let's move on to part B. So remember with part B, we are looking for whether the statement is a true statement. If so, we'll mark yes. If it is a false statement, we're going to mark no. So number one says something that is ambiguous has one very clear meaning. Well, I know that if it's ambiguous, it's going to have more than one meaning. So this is going to be no. Number two, something that has dual purposes has two uses. Well, that one would be yes, because anything that would be dual would, could have two meanings or two reasons. Number three, you can't perform a duet all by yourself. Well, that would be a yes, because you need two people to have a duet. Number four, a bicycle has two or more wheels. Well, this one's going to be no, because it says or more wheels. It would only have two wheels if it was a bicycle. Number five, most people are ambidextrous. This one's going to be no, because just some people are. It's not very common. Number six, a biannual event takes place twice a month. Well, I know this is not true because biannual would 
biannual would be two in a year, not in a month. Number seven, cats are not amphibious animals. Well, this is true. So that's going to be yes, because cats don't live on land and water. Number eight, if you are ambivalent, you have one strong feeling about something. That's going to be no, because if you are ambivalent about something, you have two strong feelings about something. Number nine, you must speak two languages to be bilingual. That is yes, because bilingual would be able to speak two different languages. And number 10, a duplex is a skateboard with two wheels. Well, that is a no, because we know that a duplex is talking about a home, not a skateboard.